Welcome to my channel. Today is a session that has discussed about the electric field tendency. Already we have discussed about the Coulomb sum. So in this session, let us continue with the case of electric field density. The electric field density is defined as the ratio of force divided by the charge. That means the electric field density or the electric field strength is the force per unit charge when placed in the case of electric field. In general, the electric field density expression is given by limit Q tends to 0 F by Q. Generally, the field intensity expression is E which is equal to F by Q. Okay. If suppose the charge is greater than 0, the field intensity will be obviously measured in the terms of newtons per coulomb or volts per meter. The unit of electric field intensity is nothing but volts per meter. So, the electric field intensity at a point due to the point charge which is located at the distance r, this is given by E is equal to Q by 4 by epsilon naught R square into AR. Right? So, the charge Q is into the distance, the R, uh, unit vector is given by the distance between the two, uh, point, two points where the charges is displayed divided by the magnitude okay so electric field intensity is equal to q divided by 4 by epsilon naught q minus r r, r r dash divided by modulus of r minus r dash equal q this expression is similar to that of the coulomb's law so coulomb's law extension gives the, uh, the electric field intensity formula right the electric field intensity so far we have discussed which gives about the point charge electric field intensity. Next. Next is nothing but the electric field due to the charge distribution. Continuous charge distribution. Okay. So the electric field due to point charges <coughs> we have discussed and in point charge we have discussed about the Coulomb's law and we are going to discuss about the continuous charge distribution. In continuous charge distribution, we are going to see about the line charge density, surface charge density and the volume charge density. Continuous distribution in the sense, if there is a field, the charges will be in continuous manner rather than in the case of this field. Now, if you consider the Coulomb's law, the, we have considered the point charges. The point charges are at the distance 1 at R or 1 at R dash. Okay. So, it is disposed at everywhere in the field. It is not continuous. It has some distance in between them. But in case of continuous charge distribution, if there is a field, the point charges are continuously distributed. The continuous distribution charges are given in terms of linear charge density, surface charge density, and the volume charge density. Right? The linear charge density is nothing but it is given by the unit coulomb per meter, that is the charge per unit length. Okay. Consider the linear line. Okay. In this, the small elemental charge is nothing but the line. Since we are considering the line charge. It is nothing but DL. We are considering the DL. And in general, the line charge density will be given by the notation lambda. And the charge in the line charge density is nothing but DQ, which is equal to lambda into DL. So, the charge density we have considered is nothing but one dimensional system. For calculating the electric field, if you integrate the, the, the charge DQ, we get as charge Q which is equal to Q into L. The linear charge density or the line charge density is given by the expression Q which is equal to lambda dot L. I repeat it once again. We are considering the electric field intensity due to the continuous charge distribution. So far we have discussed about the point charge distribution. In continuous charge distribution, 
we have the line charge density the line uh, all the surface charge density and the volume charge density the line charge density is nothing but a non dimensional system surface charge density is the two dimensional system volume charge density is nothing but the three dimensional system and in which the charge per unit area is given by the expression dq which is equal to lambda into df q is equal to lambda plus yeah. right is the same case if we consider a surface and we are considering the element and its L area da the surface charge density is given by the notation sigma the surface charge density i consider this as the two dimensional system since the charge per unit area is given by the unit coulomb per meter square while considering the line charge density we have considered the coulomb per meter in the surface charge density we are considering the coulomb per meter square the surface charge density is given by dq which is equal to sigma into d where sigma is equal to q by a okay and in case of volume charge density it is given by the notation rho and the volume charge density is given by dq is equal to rho into d rho power which is nothing but q by d okay the line charge density volume charge density and the surface charge density line charge density has the unit coulomb per meter surface charge density has the unit coulomb per meter cube and the volume charge density has coulomb per meter cube right and it is a one dimensional system we are considering here this is a two dimensional system and we are considering here as the three dimensional system the charge in the case of this is given by the expression q is equal to lambda by l and here the sigma is equal to q by a where the o is is equal to q by b so what we have discussed is nothing but the electric field due to continuous charge distribution the electric field due to point charge distribution is represented by the moments of coulomb's law of loss of forces okay so in addition the continuous charge distribution application let us discuss later in session if you like this video like share and subscribe thank you